Hello my beauties, Desiree here and welcome back to Danzig Fitness. Today's workout is specifically for all of my mommies to be out there. It also serves as a wonderful, gentle, low intensity workout for anyone looking to stretch, strengthen, and tone without really exhausting themselves. Now, every woman is different and therefore every woman's pregnancy is different, but there are some general guidelines to follow as far as which exercises to avoid during your pregnancy. These include intense core work, prone exercises laying on your belly, and positions such as the shoulder bridge or any other position that causes your belly to be higher than your heart. Now again, please note, these are just general guidelines, so if you have any questions or concerns, please speak with your doctor. If something feels uncomfortable during this workout, please stop immediately. Okay, mamas, let's start with a standing squat warm up. Make sure you have your yoga mat nearby ready to use. And if you need a chair or a stool to hold onto for balance, go for it. Safety first. Stand up nice and tall with the legs in a parallel position, opened a little bit more than hip width. We're going to inhale as we float the arms out. Exhale, lower the arms down. Good, keep going with this, really thinking of dropping that tailbone down to the floor and engaging in the core, lifting up through the crown of the head and of course keeping those shoulders down. Beautiful, and last one here. Inhale, arms float out to the side. Exhale, float them down, beautiful. Let's take a squat here, palms come together. You're sticking that booty out. As you lower down, make sure the knees stay in line with the feet, and then we stand up nice and tall. Good, keep the chest and the chin up when you go down. And when you lift up, of course, we're squeezing those buns. Nice job, everyone. Make sure you're keeping the space between the shoulders and the ears, no tension in the upper body. And from here, let's externally rotate the legs from the hips into a ballet second position, arms in second, and now we take a big plie squat all the way down and push the floor away to lengthen up and stand up tall. Good, make sure for this one that you're keeping the shoulders over the hips and the tailbone is going straight down. So we're not sticking the booty out on this one. Good, again, knees over the toes. Beautiful. Let's hold it here, place the hands on the hips and we lift up a heel lower down and lift up the other heel and lower down, good. So we're just gonna alternate lifting heels as we take a tiny pulse down. Good, we're going nice and slow. This is great for your strength in the legs and in the core and a great challenge for your balance as well. Good, make sure you're breathing, we're never holding the breath. And let's lace up the fingers now, place the hands behind the head, the legs are long, and we're just going to take a beautiful side bend. So I would exhale on the bend, inhale to stand up tall. Good, so when you're taking these beautiful side bends, make sure you're not allowing the body to twist. So we're bending from the waist. This is great for the obliques. Elbows stay wide, shoulders stay down. Very nice, keep it going. Exhaling on the bend. Inhale as you lift up tall. And now let's bend the knees and twist side to side. So again, we're exhaling on those twists. Inhale as you bring the body back to center. Good. Again, keeping the tailbone down, legs are strong, knees over the toes. 
Beautiful. And return back to your parallel leg position. Inhale, float the arms out to the side. Exhale, lower down. And again, inhale, float up. And exhale, lower down. Very nice. Two more times. And last one here. Beautiful. All right, my friends, let's get down on our mats and continue working. Let's prop ourselves up in our tabletop position. So the hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips, legs are about hip width apart, spine is in neutral. Inhale here, and as you exhale, we're going to go into a rounded back, really scooping the belly, tucking the tail, tucking the chin. Inhale back to neutral and exhale, reverse your curve. Tailbone and chin go to the sky. Good, again, inhale back to neutral. Exhale, round the back nice and high like a cat. Good, inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, reverse the curve into your cow. And return back to neutral, beautiful. And let's keep going, but this time we go side to side. So similar to what we did earlier when we were standing, exhaling on the bend, try to bring your shoulder to your hip and inhale as you bring the body back to center. And again, exhale, bend, bend, bend. Look back at those feet. Inhale, center, and exhale the other way. Good, inhale back to center. Beautiful, now let's combine those movements that we just did, and now we circle the hips nice and big, the biggest circle you can make, passing through all of those four positions that we just did, our two side bends and our cat and cow. Good, move nice and slow. This should really feel amazing. And then we'll reverse our circle. Good, really take your time. Make sure you're breathing naturally. Really just letting it go. Beautiful. Return back to your neutral spine. And now we're going to sit on our heels. If you can't sit on your heels, you can pause this video and grab the pillow and just place a pillow between your heels and your bottom. Let's cross our arms like a genie. And we're going to use the core, squeeze those buns, engage the legs to sit up tall. And then we sit back on the heels. Again, really squeezing those glutes, stacking the shoulders and hips right on top of the knees. And again, squeeze, lift up tall, and lower down slowly with control. And again, lift up tall, and sit it back down, good. And again, squeeze it up, and sitting down with control, good. Keep the shoulders down. Make sure you're lifting up through the crown of the head. And let's go for one more rep. Sitting up nice and tall, inhale and exhale. Let's go back to those twists. Good, really taking your time. Twisting the spine up and around. Beautiful, exhaling on the twists. Inhaling to bring the body back to center. Good, and last one here. And we'll return back to center. Lower the arms, palms face the wall in front of you, and let's see if we can hinge back. So when we hinge, we keep the back so incredibly long, we're really hinging from the knees. So we're working the core, we're working the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads. Good, only go back as far as your body will support. Nice, we wanna stay lifting up nice and tall. Try not to break that beautiful straight line. 
Good. Chest is open and wide. Shoulders down. Of course, we're always lifting up through the crown of the head. Always, always. Nice job, everyone. Okay, we're going to sit back on those heels once again, and let's take a nice side bend. So one hand is on the mat, the other arm comes up, and we go over. And bring the body up, and let's go the other way. And lifting up, beautiful. Let's get back to that beautiful tabletop position. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Spine is in neutral. And let's check our balance here. Only release your right arm, but try not to shift or twist. Lower that right hand down and just release your left arm. Again, really try to stay right in the center. Lower the left palm down and let's test out the legs. Release only your right leg. Try not to move anything else. We're really isolating here. Lower that leg down and we do the same thing with the left leg. Nothing else moves. Stay nice and strong. Good, and lower that leg down. Beautiful job. And now let's release the right arm out to the side. Same thing, nothing else moves. Do the same thing with the left. Try not to shift or twist. Really engage in that core so you stay right in the center. Good, and again, right arm releases out to the side. Keep your gaze at the mat. Make sure you're breathing. Left arm. Good. And now let's see if we can incorporate the legs. So again, we're going to release the right arm and opposite leg, left leg. From here, we're going to fly. So we're gonna pulse that left leg up and your right arm is going to float up and lower down nice and gracefully. Good. Keep breathing. And lower everything back down. Good, let's try the same thing on the other side. First, the left arm releases. Once you feel good, see if you can release your right leg. And now the right leg is pulsing up. And that left arm floats up and lowers down nice and smooth. Good, keep going, keep breathing. This is a great one again for the core and the glutes and the hamstrings and the back. Beautiful, and lower everything back down. Very nice job. From here, let's do one more cat cow just to release the back. Inhale here and exhale round the back as high as you can. Tuck the tail, tuck the chin. And inhale, bring the body back to center and exhale, reverse your curve. Tailbone and chin go to the sky. Very nice, my friends. Bring your spine back to neutral. And let's sit down on our mats and swing the legs around and we'll do some light core work. All right, before we get into those abs, let's just take a little moment to stretch. So open your legs a little bit more than hip width and let's drop the chin to the chest and let's just circle the head around. Really let it go. Keep your abdominals engaged, shoulders down, and then reverse your circle. Is this not the best thing in the world? <laughs> Every time I do this, I'm always reminded how amazing it is. Beautiful. All right, sitting up nice and tall. Place your hands in front. Inhale here, and now as you exhale, I want you to slide those Fingertips away from you, reaching out as far as you can. Drop the head down nice and heavy and just take some nice deep breaths. You should feel a really lovely stretch in the backs of the legs, the calves. Good, keep breathing nice and deep. 
And rolling up sequentially through the spine, head is the last to come up. Stack those shoulders on top of the hips. Let's do it again, but this time we're going to do it with flexed feet. Inhale and exhale. Reach those fingertips forward. Try to reach past your feet as much as you can. We're not bouncing, we're just reaching and breathing. Good, so now you'll feel this one, especially in the calves and in the Achilles. Let's place the hands on the right foot. Try to flex that foot up even more. If you don't have the flexibility, just place your hands on your shin. Nothing wrong with that, but just try to keep those feet nice and flexed. Good, drop the head down, nose to the knee if you can. And stay low and let's walk over to our left leg. Grab that left foot if you can. Try to flex that foot even more. Drop the head. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good. And stay low. Walk your hands back to center. And again, take your time as you sequentially roll up through the spine one vertebra at a time. Very nice, everyone. Okay, let's get into our butterfly position just to open up those hips a bit. So feet are together, knees are apart. And again, take a nice inhale here. As you exhale, round the back forward, drop the head down nice and heavy. Good, and really try to press those knees down to the floor as much as you can. Roll up through the spine to sit up nice and tall. Stack those shoulders on top of the hips. Let's grab the toes with the left hand, reaching back with the right fingertips. Lift up tall as you twist to the right. Good, and return back to center and let's twist the other way. Really think of growing taller as you twist. We don't wanna slouch or hunch. Good, and return the body back to center, and one last time, around the back forward, drop the head down, pressing the knees down to the floor. And roll it on back up. All right, my friends, let's do some gentle core work. So for this one, very carefully, let's lower our body down. So we're propped up on our forearms. So the elbows are under the shoulders. We're really pressing the floor away. So always sitting up nice and tall. Let's point the feet to the balls of our feet. And we are going to open the knees to the side as you point the toes all the way. And then squeeze those legs together nice and tight. And again, open to the side as much as you can. Core is engaged. We're really working the inner and outer thighs and glutes. And again, open to the side. Really press that open as much as you can. And then squeeze those legs together. Good, keep going with this. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Lots of space between the shoulders and the ears, always, always. Good, lengthen the legs out a little bit more so they're bent at about a 90 degree angle. Feet are flat on the floor. And now you're going to bring your right knee into the chest and lower down. And then we bring the left knee into the chest and lower down. Good, so we're working nice and slowly. This is a great one for the core. We're really stabilizing the body, so it's really just one leg that's moving at a time. Nothing else is moving, so keep everything nice and strong and quiet. Good. Keep going. Make sure you're breathing naturally. All right. Let's see if we can add in a leg extension. Then we crunch the knee back into the chest and lower down. Left knee in. Lengthen that leg out as long as you can. Bring it back in and lower down. Good, let's keep going with this. Imagine like someone is pulling your leg. So the energy is really shooting out of those toes. Lengthen the leg as long as you can make it. Bring it in and lower down. Beautiful. Keep going. Nice work. And la. 
last one here. Let's lengthen both legs long. Flex up those feet, let your arms help you push the floor away so you can sit up nice and tall. And let's take a nice stretch over those legs. Inhale, arms come up, exhale. Nose to the knees, drop the head down nice and heavy. Grab those feet if you can, if not, hands go on the shins. And breathe, breathe, breathe. Good, come up just enough so you can make a nice flat back. Continue holding onto those feet or hands on the shins. And sit up nice and tall. All right, my friends, let's get down on our side and we'll do some inner and outer thighs. So you can prop your head on your hand or you can lay your head on your arm. Whichever one is more comfortable for you, bend those knees at a 90 degree angle and we're going to open the top leg and lower down. So these are our clamshells. Good, really opening that knee as much as you can without letting the body rock back. So we really wanna keep the hips nice and stacked. Shoulders are stacked, core is engaged. Good, and really squeezing those buns as you open that top leg. Good, and one more here. And lower the leg, and then we're going to lift the leg so it's parallel to the floor. Crunch the knee into the elbow and lengthen the leg out. So this is a very similar movement to what we were just doing, but we're on our side. Leg is in a parallel position. Make sure that kneecap is facing the wall in front of you and not the sky. Good, great one for the outer thighs, glutes. Beautiful, again, imagine like someone's pulling that leg so you're making the longest leg possible. And let's pulse the leg up here. So again, we're working nice and slow. Staying in control. Sometimes when you slow down the tempo of an exercise, it actually makes it a lot more challenging. So you don't necessarily need to do difficult exercises, but slowing down the pace really forces you to just be in control. Good, let's stack the knees on top of one another and just pad out that hip to release the muscle. All right, very carefully lift your body up. Let's swing the legs around and we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, stack those hips. Legs are bent at about a 90 degree angle. And here we go, keeping those toes together. Open the top leg and close. Open and squeeze and close. Very nice. Good, again, we're not allowing our body to open up. It's just that top leg that's moving from the hip joint. Everything else stays nice and still. And we lift the leg up, here we go, and knee to elbow, and lengthen that leg out long. Try to keep the leg parallel to the floor this whole time. Kneecap facing the wall in front of you. We're in a parallel leg position. Good, energy shooting out of those toes. Longest leg you can make. It's all about the length. Very nice, and now we go into our pulses. Nice and slow. You should feel really nice burn on those outer thighs. Good, keep pulsing. Very nice, and stack the legs on top of one another and pat it out. 
All right, friends, from here, we're going to roll onto our backs. Now, if you're in your first trimester, this should be fine. If you're in your second or third, I would prop yourself up on your forearms or just sit up nice and tall. We're going to open the legs to our butterfly position and just take some nice deep breaths here. Really allow the hips to open up, feel a nice stretch in the inner thighs. Good, if you're sitting up nice and tall, you can round the back forward and drop the head down nice and heavy. Let's take the right leg and we're going to cross it over to the left. And we're gonna take a nice little spine twist. If you're on your backs like me, you're going to place the left hand on top of that right thigh. Right arm goes out and head goes to the right. If you're on your forearms, just allow the right leg to fold over on top of the left. And same thing if you're sitting up nice and tall, you can place your hands behind your pelvis for support. Let's twist over to the other side, same thing. We're breathing nice and deeply. And bring the legs back to your center butterfly position. Good, let's close those legs together. And if you're on your back like me, place your hands behind your thighs, give yourself a little rock back to help pull your body up to sit up nice and tall. Okay, my beautiful friends, I really hope you all enjoyed this prenatal workout. Or if you're not pregnant and you just wanted a nice, gentle, low intensity workout, I hope this did the trick for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know you completed it. As always, if you have any questions or comments, do not hesitate to comment down below. If you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and also hit that little bell icon so you're always notified every time I upload a new workout. Thank you so much, friends, for your love and support. It really means the world to me and all of your amazing comments always make my heart really, really smile. And to all my mommies to be out there, I'm wishing you all a very happy, healthy, beautiful pregnancy and birth. Take care of you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.